Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play Metal Gear Solid 3. When we left off last time, we found a sniper rifle. So now we are going to tackle the Ponies of EA warehouse. Okay, let's see. We got, what, like two of them right there? So if I get one, it's going to alert the other, right? How do you... Okay, there's this guy back here. Yeah, that wasn't very subtle at all. Stop talking to HQ. Okay, I'm doing a lot of... How do you aim this thing? Well, I did something useful, but... No, I kind of hate this weapon. Get my suppressor back on. I don't know why I have so much trouble with it. Alright, let's actually, um... Mm. Down. Stay low. Here's one of the guys we got. Alright, we gotta get some air. I'm hiding, you can't see me here. Also, let's eat something. Something over there. We got this guy here too. Kerton. <laughs> no, you don't have to get all the way under. I just wanted you to kind of duck down a bit. All right, what do we want to do here? Guy standing here and a guy with a shield over there. Okay. I'm good gravy. Did I get him in the leg? I suppose if I'm patient, we'll see. 
Yep, okay. Now, is that all of them? Yeah, I think we're good. I don't know why I can't figure out my suppressor, but whatever. What do we got going on here? Ouch. Ah, <sighs> not what I meant to do. Get up. Hmm. Couple of different options to get in, maybe? Throw him over the edge. Oh, I think he just drowned. Yeah, I didn't think that one through. I mean, I guess he is unconscious, so... Terrible as it is, I'm going to attempt the same thing with this guy, because then they won't get back up and bother me later. Okay, how do I get you in the water? Into the drink. There we go. Z's coming up. Well, now he doesn't. Alright. So where's this going? Okay, right into the warehouse. What's the other then? Is it a door that doesn't open? Let's go see. Nobody comes back, right? They're still dead. And we don't have like a camera or anything spying here. Okay. Okay. No, we just can't get this open, so we gotta go the other way. Alright. On and off like nothing. There. I don't know why I don't know why I have so much trouble with that. They can they each have a suppressor, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yet another thing that baffles Lavinia that should not. Okay. Yeah, nothing really blends in, in here. Hmm. Well. We'll stay as how we are, then. Oh, yeah, there's all kinds of guys in here. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun. Now then, oh, we got levels and levels in here. This place is big. Well, it is a warehouse, so it's not that surprising. Okay. Hmm? Oh, am I gonna find a key card somewhere? Alright. So. Just 
Just what have we got here? Drop some bandages. I really need those. Oh, there we go. Ooh. Let's put that desert face on. I'm assuming it's going to be useful here. Oh, right there. And it isn't. Give me medical stuff. Ugh. These guys refusing to be useful. Oh, we're hungry. Also, since we're in here, anything to say? Good. You've infiltrated the warehouse. Yep. Pass through it and you'll come out south of the lab where Sokolov is being held. The exit should be on the north side of the top floor. Okay. Climb up the stairs and pass through the warehouse to the north. Anything else? It'll be difficult to keep a low profile inside a building, even if you're wearing camouflage. I've noticed. Keep a constant watch on your surroundings. Stay alert and don't enter the enemy's line of sight. You may be able to fool the enemy by disguising yourself as an object commonly found inside buildings. This is the box section. Major. Eva isn't responding to the radio. Right. Right. Snake, she's been talking to you from inside an enemy facility. She's not always going to be able to answer the radio. Yeah, she's got a cover Don't to keep. assume something's wrong just because you're not getting a response. Don't worry about Eva. Stay focused on your mission. Got it. Major, do you know anything about this, Tanya? No. Nothing? Not a thing. Why not? Well. He must have checked up on Sokolov when he defected two years ago. If he had a lover... Make no mistake, we conducted a thorough investigation, but there was nothing about him having a mistress. Maybe you didn't notice. That's impossible. Then he must have become involved with her after he was taken back to Russia. I wonder... What is it, Major? Something wrong? I don't think Sokolov would take a lover. No? Why not? What is she then? I still remember him two years ago. After we got him across the border, the first words he spoke from his hospital bed, after he regained consciousness, were, Are my wife and daughter safe? And right up until the time he was taken back to Russia, he kept begging me over and over to take care of his family, almost as if he was delirious. Sokolov is a man who loves his family. Betraying his wife is something he... Major. What is it? People change. Hmm. Maybe you're right. No, I think there's more going on to Tanya. It's hard to tell how old she is from a character model. Is she possibly his daughter? How old is his daughter? I'm gonna give him the benefit Snake, of the doubt. When your stamina gets low, it negatively affects your physical. I don't ability. think she's a lover. I think there's something You've else. Got to replenish your stamina before it runs. I could be totally wrong. The gauge below your life gauge is. Yes, yes, yes. I know about the stamina. I don't always keep the best track of it, but I know about it. I see you've caught yourself in arowana. Yeah, we talked about arowana. I see you found a Russian fossil. We talked about that as well. Okay. And I did want to talk to Sigan. <laughs> so you're wearing the black camouflage. Yes, we talked about this. Okay. That's enough talking to people for a minute. But we got some useful information out of Major Zero. That was kind of nice. Oh man, my steps are echoing in here. What you got? All right, anything else? Done. Can't really complain about see things. Get up there. Oh, there's got to be a way to do it. Maybe I got to fall from above. Hmm. Hit the buttons. Probably stop messing around because eventually these guys are gonna wake up again. Alright. Is 
someone's taking steps and it's not me. I know this isn't the most important thing here. Let it go! There. Boop, 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 boop. Ooh. Noodles and all kinds of stuff. Hey, hey, hey! Mouse trap. All right. Ah! These guys are messing me up. <laughs> All right, that went poorly. Miss the shot, and this part will go really easy. Don't kick him awake, it's obnoxious. There. Do I want to be horrible and heartless and cruel? I think I do. How do I... Okay. What's it take to kill him? Can I kill him while he's sleeping? Yep. They're not gonna get up and find me. Snake, you're not very good at stabbing people to death. I know, it's based off, like, how many hit points they have, but to be a little more realistic. Is there a way to probably... Oh, maybe if I pick them up, then I can just slice their throat. Alright, moving on. someone else here somewhere. Right there. Um, if they walk back, I might be able to get them. Oh, 
he's probably walking all the way like right above me and just gotta be patient although I could try to sneak up and see you see him well we already waited for this let's just see if we can't make it happen Uh, angle's not great. Who's that? Great. Oh, well. Sorry, buddy. Okay, wait, let's try and see if we can't find a better way to do this. Um, well, no, I can't lift him up and then stab him. I got a mouse trap. You got some instant noodles, huh? Yeah, I got instant noodles too. Uh-huh. It was invented in Japan just recently. Add some hot water and it's ready to eat. It's cheap and can be stored for a long time. And besides, it's delicious. It's like a milk. <laughs> wow. Speaking of which. Yeah. Are you going to eat that? I was planning on it. You want you want my ramen? Mm, Alright. Is there some reason I shouldn't? No, that's not what I meant. Then what did you She wants it, Snake. I was just going to say that if you weren't going to eat it, you should bring it back to me. I've always wanted to try some. Whatever. <laughs> Tell me about this trap I just got, though. I see you have a calorie mate. Yeah, I got the calorie mate. mate. The thing you're holding now? Oh, the little block that looks like a cookie? Try it, it's pretty good. Okay. But what is this thing? Never seen anything like it. Calorie Mate is an energy supplement that contains all the proteins, lipids, vitamins, carbohydrates, and minerals needed for a balanced diet. It's a well-balanced food. Because of that, it's just perfect for giving your body the nutrition it needs in combat. It sounds like a space-age food. Real astronaut food is not very good, but that should taste fine. Yeah, and it'll help balance out all this jungle food I'm eating. It's easy and quick to eat, so it's perfect when you're running late for an important mission in the morning. I've never been late for a mission. Really? Aren't you always keeping people waiting? Uh, huh? It's easy to keep track of your calorie intake and receive the nutrition your body needs, so it's good for losing weight, too. All of the geisha girls in Japan use it for watching their calories. Is that Do they? also slim? Right. And any diet where you eat nothing at all is bad for the body. I see. You seem to know a lot about Japan, don't you? Yes. I love Japan. Okay, about this trap, though. I see you've caught yourself in air... <sighs> Okay, let's ask maybe somebody else about the trap. Major? That's not what I meant you to do. Save? I, I didn't, actually. Okay, good luck, Snake. Thanks. Good. You've infiltrated the warehouse. Yeah, and I got it I got a mouse trap. Nobody cares. Sigan, I got a mouse trap. <laughs> so you're wearing the black mm, he doesn't care. Still can't contact Eva. Yeah. All right. That's enough of that. Moving on. Battle. Oh. 
Bernini y Corky South. Back in the jungle. Flak tarn, is that going to be the one? Looks like. Okay. Point of no return. Well, actually, I bet he could just climb back up, can't he? Yeah. We're not going to, but we could. Now then. Oh, multiple climbing trees. It's very exposed at the top of it. Okay, wait. What is this? Is it a squirrel? It is a squirrel. Excellent. Okay, it'll be kind of exposed at the top of a tree. But, I want to see what's up here. Not much. That tree doesn't look very interesting either. There's some more mushrooms, but I'm not overly worried about those. We're doing just fine. Major Zero? Snake, the lab where Sokolov is being held is to the north of that forest. Yep. Keep on heading north. Snake, watch out. It seems that forest is rigged with a number of traps. Oh, indeed. Most of the traps seem to be triggered by tripping a rope stretched across the ground. Aha! Don't just run around by the <laughs> Keep an eye on the ground and watch where you step. He knew I was just gonna Some ropes may be go tromping so through here. In the vegetation. Be extra careful when you're cutting through the underbrush. If you use the directional buttons to move around stalking, you should be able to spot the traps before you step on them. Use stalking to move safely through suspicious looking areas. Okay. Paramedic, I caught a squirrel. I see you caught yourself a Japanese flying squirrel. Japanese flying squirrels are non-venomous, and they shouldn't attack I don't think there's any venomous squirrels. The front legs, hind legs, and tail of the Japanese flying squirrel are connected by a membrane of skin, which allows the squirrel to glide from tree to tree. It says here that if it catches a good wind, it can fly more than a hundred yards. Huh, not bad. Yeah, I had a hard time catching No, it was easy. So, aren't you going to ask me? You know it. How does it taste? <laughs> not sure. Not sure? The guy doesn't say it's very anymore. small. It doesn't seem Why like not? it'd have a lot of meat on it. Gee, maybe it's because no one would ever think of eating a flying squirrel. <laughs> and then I must be the first one. <laughs> He's so no excited. One. Bravely going where no man has gone before. Alright. So. Do I want to try to disarm it and just leave it alone? There's an animal in there. Or something. Yeah, bunny. How's it going, forest friend? Come here. I wanted the serum. So, thus far, no guards. Just traps and animals. Okay, not bad, not bad. Alright. Oh, what do we got there? Not you, Snake. Just leave me alone. Okay. 
Alright, let's look at it. Do we think it's a weapon? One out of five books, huh? Hmm. So I could, what, throw it at someone or put it out there like, oh, hey, look at this. One out of 16 mouse traps. Interesting. Is that a trap around the mushrooms? That looks almost like one of those ones that- Ah! Oh, really? I meant to go around it. I thought I was going around it. Okay, what are we gonna do, Snit? <laughs> Snake, have you been caught in a snare trap? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't get down from there soon, the enemy might spot Yeah. I know that. <laughs> then why don't you get yourself down? How am I supposed to do that? Use your knife. It should be obvious. If you get caught in a snare trap, press the action button. That will allow you to cut the rope. Hurry and free yourself before the enemy comes around. I didn't even want the mushrooms. Just wanted to get this book. Oh, it's it's food. Food's full. Well, let's eat a delicious crab. Noodles. I need your serum. Oh, you punk. There we go. What is going on there? Is that a scientist? Oh, good gravy. Look at that guy. It's brutal. Oh, hey, Carrotan. So. Oh, I was hoping I could jump onto this rock, just because. Okay, so we definitely don't want to trigger that thing. Ha-ha! I don't know what's really good about being up here, but I'm just kind of excited too. That looks like more of those false mangoes. Which I'm not really that worried about. Okay. Not that one. Matt. How are we looking here, Matt? Okay, so there's the exit at the north. So I'll take a risk of jinxing myself. Mostly this area is not that bad. No enemies. You just gotta not stumble on the traps. Okay, and this is that kind of f flat side, right? Yeah. Alright, so I think I've pretty much got it. Let's see about moving on. leave me alone, snake, and I'll leave you alone. Nobody needs to bite anyone else. My food's full, so you're safe for now. Alright, are we ready to move on? I think we are. Kudini Gorky Lab Exterior. Outside walls. Now, I'm 
sure we're going to come across some guards around here. Seems like there'd be better camouflage. No, this is it. Hmm. Oh, a dog, my favorite. Okay. Sorry, dog. I don't want you just sleeping because then you'll get up and you'll be a pain in my butt again. Whoops! Okay, we got it. I was afraid I didn't for a minute. Yeah. Oh, but there's another one. Or else I just injured it and didn't actually kill it. Don't worry about it. Go ahead, stop and look at the dog's body. What happened? What's going on? Respond. Nothing, he's fine. There's something wrong. Support unit, confirm their status. All right, let's hide in the grass. We're good. All right, I think I'm actually going to go ahead and wind the episode down here. Everything's Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back in next time. We will see if we can bust into this lab.